White strip down the front, black shorts and white socks kicking from left to right. And we are underway here at the Hive. Here's JJ Hooper just looking for an option in amber and black. Has one in the form of Alfie Pavey. He's going to shoot from distance, but it's not troubling Tony Thompson in the Ultringham goal. Play it down the line towards JJ Hooper. Brings it under control with his knees and finds the skipper Dunn. Dunn's cross is clipped in towards Alfie Pavey. Just over him, he couldn't quite get his head onto it. And now Altrincham clear, but it's going to come back their way again. Daly's long ball forward is towards Mason Clark. Surrounded by three wet and white shirts, and he is eventually tripped by Senior, and another free kick opportunity for the Bees. Seven minutes on the clock, Barnet nil. He's done his job well in these early stages. Altrincham just skipping away from their men and an opportunity to deliver a left-footed cross. It's going to go towards the far post. Barnett needs to get this clear. And calls for a penalty waved away. We will get another chance to look at that in a bit. And JJ Huber could latch onto a loose header here, but Tony Thompson is out quickly. Here comes James Dunn, though. The Bees still looking to attack here. Crosses in from McQueen towards Pavey. Calls for a handball. Nothing given there. Two penalty shouts at either end. Nothing given from the referee, James Durkin. Here comes Mooney. Skips away from Harry Taylor, but Richards Everton he doesn't quite commit to the challenge. He does on the second opportunity, and the ball goes out of play for a altering and throw in. Good challenge. If, if it wasn't a full-blooded one the first time round, it certainly was the second time. He, he won the ball as well. It was a, it's a good challenge from the former Bradford man. Um, interesting penalty shouts at either end. We'll take a look. As the ball comes in towards the far post. It's difficult to say from that angle. You've, you've seen some given as the throw-in is taken back to the pitch. Crosses in, the shot is taken, but it's deflected. We're in couplers. Quick look at the handball shout here. Alfie Pavey with his arms up. 13 minutes on the clock. Steep towards Byron Harrison. He chests it down. Byron Harrison pokes a goal. His shot. He claims for a handball, does the former B, but nothing is given. And JJ Hooper has a golden opportunity here to. to score JJ Hooper comfortably puts it past Tony Thompson a cool calm and collected finish from the Bees number 11 his fifth of the season and from controversy at one end the altering of defence just switched off and allowed JJ Hooper through to open the scoring here they did switch off but I'm going to give JJ some praise there Aaron it would have been very easy for him to back off and let the ball come back into the other side and he's, he's put the pressure on the man and he's found the finish it was a it was brilliant finish under pressure Uh, slotted it past Tony Thompson. Yeah, it, it's as you say, Aaron. Barnet have missed that for their flaws defensively. Barnet haven't been good enough attacking either. And as you say, you can't spurn chances the way they have done. And if uh, they can continue to take their chances, their run of form should change. Free kick. It's a good effort, and it's just wide of Scott Loach's left hand post. Josh Hancock from all of 35 yards. Great effort, Aaron. I thought from our position it was in. He's hit it with some serious whip. And uh, this angle should uh, give us an insight as to how close it was. Yeah, it certainly had low throw specialist. <laughs> wow. On that evidence, it looks like we have Kefalas. And Daly tries to get a shot on goal, but he goes out of play for a goal kick. At least ball couldn't quite be picked up by Taylor. Here's a Miller kick. That's a Mooney. He's been given a little bit too much space there. Gets away from Binham Williams. And there's a committed foul by Richards Everton. Nothing given. Here's Mooney. He's got Cosolo in space. Looks to tee up a shot. Matty Cosolo. And he drags it into that 
Bottom corner, what a finish that is from Matty Cosolo. We're all square here at the Hive. And the man I said keep your eye on has uh, punished the bees there for some far from ideal defending. It's difficult for Loach because it's gone through quite a few bodies. Some The Barnet players obviously throwing themselves at it. But as you say, it's, it's a great finish. He's patient. He waited his time to unleash a trigger. And Loach, no chance. Great finish in off the post. And Altrincham, Altrincham a level. His first goal for Altrincham since arriving in the summer. Matty Cosolo. Joel Senior now. Crosses it in towards Byron Harrison, whose first time finish evaded him, and it's gone wide, comfortably wide of the post. And Byron Harrison, who never scored a goal at the high for Barnet, will be ruining another missed opportunity there. That's a big opportunity for Altrincham as a replay comes up now, Aaron. Good ball into the box, and I'm not sure where the marking was, but the shot, thankfully, from a Barnet perspective, goes wide. Uh, but Altrincham just sort of coming into this one. Pavey under a little bit of pressure when he was bringing that ball down. Here's Binham Williams infield to Alfie Pavey. Got a little bit of space around him. Does let fly. Thompson had committed to staying grounded there and it had gone comfortably over his crossbar in the end. But ambitious effort from Alfie Pavey. And Tim Flowers wanted to give him a chance. Wanted to see from Alfie Pavey. I mean, it's the kind of striker that Tim Flowers likes to have. It wasn't too far over in truth. Williams out. Now's the ball. Midway inside the Altrincham half. Out to the left hand side he has Efron Mason Clark. A couple of step overs. Beats Cosolo. And wins a corner kick. Good from Efron. Trying to get his man and trying to get something off. It was a it was clever and good defending from the Altrincham back line. And one arm raised. It's low, doesn't quite get past the first man Ben and Williams will pump it back in towards Daly at the far post his head up though yeah, he's the most frustrated man in the stadium with that one as he couldn't quite turn it back into the box and it goes out of play for a goal kick yeah he certainly wasn't going for goal I don't think Liam Daly and it was the right idea he's as you said frustrated that he couldn't get the ball into a dangerous area right down the line flicked on by Harry Taylor Hooked forward by an altering a man as Harrison t tries to get his head onto it. But it's ushered through to the gloves of Scott Loach as the referee does blow for half time. After switching midway through the second half after the goal. Smith down the line. Cosolo is on side and he pokes it forward. Byron Harrison fluffs his big opportunity to get his first goal at the hive. And that was all too easy, that Adam almost out of nothing I'm not sure how that's not ended up in the back of the net it was a long ball forward and he first he, it looked like he did the hard part right and he just didn't get it on it to poke it into the net that's a huge let off for Barnet into the ball and Costello can pick it up here comes Altrincham with a deflected shot which goes just wide of the post had Loach back pedalling for a minute there the effort from Mullicky yeah, it was a good strike and the deflection meant the ball could have gone anywhere and Loach was almost rooted as the effort went towards goal. Thankfully, from a, an amber and black perspective, it drops wide. Petrasso. Ball into the box and it's a good delivery and Pavey gets on the end of it, but I'm not sure he was quite expecting it and the ball goes over the bar. Wonderful ball, that from the Canadian Petrasso and Pavey just quite couldn't turn it goldwards at him. Good movement from Alfie Pavey to get in front of his man as you said I'm not sure whether he was just quite expecting the ball to drop the way it did it was a great ball into the area from from Petrasso and it's almost like he was put off by the ultra man stretching to, to head clear Done clips it in towards Richards Everton gets his head onto it, it's going to loop into the box Daly is there, can't quite turn it goldwards and it's clear, Dunn misses his header Binham Williams goes over the top of someone to win his and we'll be let's rewind that because we're going to have a free kick in almost exactly the same place and if it can be as good as the first one was that was a real chance of Barnett, good delivery from the skipper James Dunn Ev um, Richard Everton does well to peel off his man and just 
Daly couldn't quite make contact. Here comes James Dunn, marauding forward. going to shoot at goal. His effort is blocked. Ball's gone. Kept in play by Cissé, is it? Nope, just gone out of play. It's two and a half minutes gone. Barnet won, altering and won. It's Vanarama National League fixture. Here comes Cotolo, skips away from Harry Taylor. Now got Kefalas for company. Here's Cissé, turns, shoots, blocked excellently by Daly. Back into the box, though. bit of confusion but JJ Hooper's got the ball and can turn into space here as Barnett looked to break forward he's got Petrasso for company in front of him and will use the Canadian Mike, Mikey Petrasso looks to bring the ball into the box here does and that effort was almost bamboozled the bees attacking line there Thompson didn't quite know whether to come or go for it I think Petrasso wanted someone to to make the run and not quite in the end. Delivery. We await the whistle from the referee. And it comes. It's a wonderful delivery. And it has to be dealt with by Barnett Man. It is headed away, but it's going to come straight back in by Cissé. And it's into the near post. And how has that not got in? The flicked header had... The Barnet defence just hoping that it didn't go in at that far post. There was no one in red and white attacking it. I'm not sure how. I, from our angle, I thought it was going to drop into the net. And it's inches wide. For he did the right thing. It's and he's unlucky in the Tom end. Hannigan, the, the centre-half, in an advanced position. He had a golden opportunity to snatch all three points. There to find Taylor. Here comes Ben and Williams just getting a few words of encouragement from... Tim Flowers, he was there, but he ran into one altering and body too many. And now the Robins can fly forward. Cissé. He's got White on the overlap, finds him. Left-footed ball is in, and that's a well-worked goal. And surely the winner. It's fair to say it has been coming. And it's Josh Hancock who gets on the end of it. It'll be a bitter pill to swallow for Tim Flowers, but it's a wonderful goal from Altrincham. They broke at such speed, Aaron, and it was well crafted, and Loach did his very best to to stop it, but couldn't quite get enough on it. It's a real sucker punch for the Bees. Absolutely. White with that ball in. Well worked, quick. Loach did all he could. They just couldn't quite get enough on it to keep it from going beyond him. And it's despair at the hive for the bees Altrincham head on the end of it though and James Dunn has just got to get this ball straight back into the box time ticking away he does in towards Daly he headers it towards goal but straight into the gloves of Tony Thompson who will lay on the ball and you've got to say that will be that credit to Altrincham because They've played some really nice football this afternoon and of, of the chances in the second half, they certainly had had the better of them. Um, but it's a real blow for Barnet. And that's it. Full time here in this Vanarama National League fixture. And it's Altrincham who snatched all three points at the